Okay. So we're gonna give our Black Panther review. Especially since so much hype and controversy's been surrounding this flick. Now there'll be no spoilers, though we'll get into the characteristics of some of the characters. But first. Before we get into that. There's a couple of things we wanna say. 1. Hollywood's a fucking joke. Contrary to what some of y'all who watch the works of creators rather than engaging in creating may think. Hollywood totally fucking lacks creativity and originality. It's a big parasite. Consuming the same vomit. And vomiting it up to reconsume it again. And we're completely sick of all the fucking CG crap we gotta endure every time we check out one of these flicks. And fuck DC. Marvel's light years above them motherfuckers. And even Marvel annoys us at times. But why Hollywood sucks is another video. Which we'll probably do on our Hollywood channel. But them motherfuckers got their own clicks. Like Hollywood lacks creativity and don't wanna give any new people any damn fucking breaks. They just got their inner circle. In which we can only assume they're fucking one and nut's brains out for favors. We personally like to see characters as close as the comic book characters as possible. But these motherfuckers don't even try. They just give it to their friends which we assume they're fucking. For example. We have no fucking idea why Michael B. Jordan's playing Killmonger and shit. This. Is Killmonger. And Michael B. Jordan sure the fuck ain't him. Anya can betcha assy sure the fuck ain't Michael B. Jordan. This character's a big motherfucker. And what cracks us up's this. There's plenty who was far fucking more suitable for this damn part. Any of these guys fit the role far better. And had the bodies for the shit. Sis Marvel. Don't know one give a flying fuck about the name they wanna see the characters. See here's the thing Marvel. The characters. Well. They're already famous. We don't need you getting people you're fucking or making cult deals with. We assume that's what's happening. And if it ain't then that's even worse because it means they flat out suck. So you need to get better creators and thinkers. Any of these guys woulda taken this fucking part. 4-5% of Ucha paid Michael B. Jordan and actually fit the damn role. Not a mention you coulda given someone a payday and possible chance for new opportunities. But nah nah. Michael's someone's homeboy. Or get an inside favors or some stupid fucking crap like that. Like this shit wouldn't a even been no work. All they had to do is type in black bodybuilders in a fucking search engine. They woulda made more money and helped someone's fucking life. And we don't wanna hear no fucking crap about you gotta be an actor. That's bull fucking shit. More than one of these guys will read well and a good producer will produce. Stallone did the same shit with Mr. T. He saw the motherfucker and said I want him he's perfect. The man had a vision. And Mr. T's acting sucks. But talented motherfuckers know how to get what they need out of these guys and he played the part perfectly. Y'all coulda watched a beast on screen and totally been captivated. But we got Michael B. Jordan instead. Anyway if you don't have the vision you'll have no idea what a fuck we're talking about so let's move on. As for this movie. We saw a lot of reviews. And we learn to no longer pay attention to reviews. Especially after the last Jedi fucking crap. Which doesn't mean we don't watch any reviews. It simply means we don't take what these reviewers say for face value. We use common sense. It'd be nice if we could listen to reviewers and simply trust. But they've destroyed that trust. So we still listen to reviews. We simply calculate what the fuck they're lying about. Along with how much common sense they have. And it's a fucking shame. Like for this flick. When it came to white reviews we had to calculate who was a racist. Or who simply cut in connect with seeing virtually all black people on screen. Or who was being fake out of fear of being bashed. As for black people. We had to do the same in reverse. Like calculate who was just saying they love it because it's black people. A good movie's a good movie and a bad one's a bad one and we ain't got time for that fucking crap. If someone white thinks the movie sucks. It doesn't mean they're racist. And if someone black does it doesn't mean they're a coon. They may honestly just not be feeling the movie. And that we can respect. There's white and black people who ain't racist or coons who simply didn't enjoy the movie. And there's some who honestly loved it. Now we heard a lot of mixed reviews. Some like some didn't. Some of these reviewers simply cut and click with looking at that many black people. Obviously because it's Marvel because black movies have existed for years. Coming to America was no problem but the superhero shit was. And it's all bullshit. If Hillary was in office the shit wouldn't even be a fucking topic. 
that racist bitch would have everyone subdued. And disarmed. Yeah yeah we know most black people can't admit that. Even if they know the truth. You know. Because other black people might fuck him up. But we've heard all the flappin' fucking crap concerning this flick. So we checked it out. As y'all know Michael B. Jordan was in it. Forrest Whitaker. Chadwick whatever to fuck his name is. And Angela Bassett who played the Black Panther's mother. And still fine as wine might we add. But a lot of people said this movie sucked. That it went south. Had no fucking logic. Was totally stupid and pointless and made no fucking sense. We saw those reviews before we went to see it. So we watched the movie expecting the shit to possibly be a totally idiotic flick. And after seeing the movie. Without delivering any spoilers. All we can say is this. What fucking movie was you motherfuckers watching? Fuck you talking about it didn't make any sense. We was expecting the dumbest storyline in Marvel history. And got one of the best instead. Motherfuckers gotta be seriously mentally dense. The character in this movie's logical. The man's a king. With inherited responsibilities. The ruler of a country with technology hidden from the world and gotta make decisions that can help the entire planet or turn the place in a chaotic war zone. With an enemy trying to challenge his throne and turn the world in a exactly that. This ain't Spider-Man. Some kid that decides to fight bad guys for a fucking hobby. Who can simply decide to just go to school and never put the spider suit on again and the world's still gonna be what it's gonna be. This guy makes a bad decision it matters. He's gotta fix the mistakes of the past while making the right ones for the sake of the entire planet and the future. Look. You're gonna get different types of people and mentalities when it comes to what they like seeing on screen. Apparently some people just wanna see eye candy. Others just can't connect with watching that many black people. And some's just stupid. While some may honestly just not vibe with the movie. Including black people. And we gotta respect that. Like if you don't like it you don't like it. But how anyone could think the storyline's dumb baffles us. Half the time these bad guys fell in radiation or came from some other world and just wanna fuck up shit for no reason. Even Michael B. Jordan did a decent job and as a villain had a logical cause. They just cut a got a more qualified villain. But we enjoyed the movie. We liked the characters. They did a great job with the relevance of female warriors in this movie without you ever feeling like it was some feminist last Jedi crap going on. The balance and equal respect between the males and females was perfect. There was total respect and appreciation for one another without anyone ever trying to be the superior. We know a lot of people want to see eye candy only but this is the type of stuff we enjoy. We love eye candy but it needs a decent story as a foundation and this had it for us. And the soundtrack was damn good. We noticed a lot of white reviewers were annoyed with it, and we kinda understood their point. But we was cool with it. So was this the best movie ever? Certainly not. We saw a lot of shit that could've been better. Yet and still. At no point was we bored in his entire movie. Like not fucking once. From the talk in action scenes. As for our issues with the flick. We get tired of fake looking CG crap. We also had issues with Michael B. Jordan's character because the motherfucker was a fucking fool. With the mentality of a junior high school kid. And not a smart one. The least they coulda done was made him intelligent. And a bit calmer and cooler. More like James Earl Jones in Conan. I wish to speak to you now. Where is the eye of the serpent? Rexor says that you gave it to a girl. That kind of villain's more effective than a fast talking fool with the brain of a worm. Like he talked the kind of shit a street kid boasting after winning a ball game in a park would. Not a fucking adult grown man. Like you could see how James Earl Jones in Conan could have been a evil leader. However a retard like Jordan's character would in a lasted a week in a real world. Just a big fucking dummy. They honestly needed a better writer with more political knowledge when it came to that part. We also woulda liked if the Panthers country looked more royal. Like Egypt. More marble and gold mixed with the technology. Sophisticated cities with big cat sphinxes and obelisks. That shit just coulda been a lot better. However we'll say we heard this movie had a negative ending. And in our view it had one of the most positive endings we've seen in a movie. So ultimately. We didn't walk out the theater disappointed. 
or feeling like we wasted our money in the least. It was worth seeing for us. We quite literally enjoyed it. It's no doubt a good flick to see with people you vibe with. Certainly it could have been better. But on a scale from 1 to 10. We give it a 7. 7 means worth seeing for us if you simply want to get out the house. Or even if you're just curious. At least it was for us. That's our view. And until our next one. Peace. We're out.